Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my next video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna prep this vest for my Mando armor. So let's get it started. All right, so, um, yeah. So I'm doing the whole Mando armor. You guys have seen some stuff. Um, I've actually got a new chest plate and ab section that I'm uh, looking at right now. And one of the things you got to have is a flak vest. And honestly, I can't sew. <laughs> I mean, I can, but, you know, I'm trying something different. And uh, I was actually watching another YouTuber. Uh, apologies. I cannot remember the name because it was just a quick little video and he actually was using one of these vests here. And this is my second one. Uh, the first one I got, I'd done some stuff to it and uh, I just didn't like it. So I ordered another one. It's, they're like 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, so there's some things we gotta do to it, number one. So it's Velcro attached, which technically, you're not allowed to use Velcro. Uh, oh man, that is a lot of Velcro. Um, so yeah, I just gotta see if I can make some kind of attachments here. I'm going to actually, since this is something I'm doing for me, I don't really care about um, whether it's 100% proper, because uh, this is something I want to do for myself. So, uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is we're going to, I'm going to walk you through it. The only thing you really need, uh, for this is a, it's called a seam ripper right here. You can use an exacto knife, a hobby knife, but, uh, seam rippers are amazing. I love seam rippers. So what I'm planning on doing, the way this thing is designed, let me, go ahead and fold this up so it's designed to put a plate in it because uh, this is actually a bulletproof vest or a carrier uh, so it's designed to put a plate in right here but we don't need the plate so first thing that's got to go is all the stuff I do not need uh, I don't need none of this stuff on the back so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to begin this process. I'm going to turn the camera down. Um, this is a relatively uh, long process. I'll show you as I get started and then we'll probably switch to a time lapse. So let me get the camera pulled down and we'll get this started. All right. So first things first, this section, uh, this pouch is what I'm going to get rid of. Um, there's a lot of good things with this, so I'm going to keep this because you can actually do other things with it. So don't throw away your material because material is good to have. So you take your seam ripper. It's got the little point here. You basically just come in and start picking at it, and it'll start ripping the, uh, the seams. And once you get it started, it actually goes relatively quick so you just basically get that in there on that seam on the thread and just let it let it do its work uh, like i said you can use an exacto knife but honestly these things you can get them at walmart they're like seriously cheap i think they're less than just a, like a couple of bucks but this might actually go fast enough to where I don't even have to worry about a time lapse. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But these are some of the things that, you know, when you're you're doing cosplay, you you have to make things. And again, I've got patterns. And uh, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, the sewing machine that that we have is Kim's and. I just, honestly, I just don't, I can't use it. Uh, one of these days, I may have to just invest in my own sewing machine, but, you know, I mean, I, I reckon that it would be the responsible thing to do. 
But yeah, you can see like how easy. I will tell you this: when these get dull, they they suck. <laughs> so don't even worry about trying to resharpen it. Just you know, go spend another couple of bucks and and get a new one. But as long as you take care of it, it should actually last you for for quite a bit. And this little ball right here on the end that actually rides on top of the seam or the stitches. And like I said, you can see, you can just, I don't see, honestly, I don't think you could do that with an exacto knife. Pull this up. Let's go ahead and get this going. And again, the, the back part of this is the easier of it because I don't have to really think too much about what's going on back here. I do have to put some thought into the front before I get too crazy. Okay, get that seam. Voila. I also have a little piece of Velcro here. We'll take this off. And just get it started. All right. I will say that this is something that I really do love about, you know, cosplay and stuff like that is the maker side of me really loves this stuff. Uh, the concepts, the thinking, the, the planning, and even the mistakes. I actually, I don't mind the mistakes either. Like with this vest, you know, the original ideal I had, I thought was a good one. And then I realized, you know, I'm doing a lot of extra work for not really a good reason. Um, now, if I was going to try to get approvals by the merch and things like that, I do not believe I can use this. Uh, or I would have to modify it even more. But for my personal use... I think uh, I think I can I think I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. This uh, the reason why this is taking a little bit longer. It actually has an X stitch in it, so it actually goes around the border and then it actually comes across. So this one's definitely a little bit more involved, but again, voila! Look at there, easy breezy. All right, let's get this piece off. Boom. And again, this is this is a good piece. You can actually, you can make a, a cool little pouch out of this. So you definitely want to keep all of your your scraps. Next thing is the flap. Uh, the flap actually is a double stitch. Uh, so there's actually, it has folded over on itself and so. So this one will be a little... Not too much more complicated, but just a smidge. But as you can see right there, I mean, that's that's money right there. But yeah, you can see it's got a, a, a weird little stitch in it. Okay, let's go ahead and see if I can get this loose. The ends are actually the hardest part because the way they've actually sewn it, it actually, uh, it's, it's got like a, a back stitches in it. So once you get the ends loose, it, it actually is not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see if I can get this going. Look at that. Look how smooth that is. Just get it underneath and give it a little bit of a push. That's all you gotta do. Give it a push. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on. Get this little piece. Just snipping it out just a little bit at a time. Okay. This is, there we go, got that, it's getting underneath here, okay, 
And, you know, the cool thing about this, too, is you don't really have to be in any kind of, like, crazy hurry. Matter of fact, um, just take your time. And I'll also, I'll put a link to this particular uh, vest in the description of the video. That way, just in case, you can uh, get your own. And again, it's really, really, I think it was like 20, I want to say like $26, something like that. Not too bad at all. And it comes in a brown, uh, this is like a gray, uh, which I thought gray would work better because uh, my flight suit is like olive drab. The armor has a lot of khaki in it. So, yeah. All right, so the next step, uh, we're going to pick all this stuff off. There's no need, and you guys watch me do this, but I'm going to clean up all these threads. We'll come back, and then we'll, uh, we'll tackle the front. So I'll be right back. All right, so this is where it's going to get difficult for uh, a couple of reasons. Number one, I, I want to keep this but I, I need to get rid of this and this. And so, uh, yeah, <laughs> this is where the way I did my first one is I actually took everything off and just had the front and the back and I was going to put some clips and how it really was just overthinking it. And yeah, so this time I'm hoping that I can be a little bit more, uh, productive. Also, with these seam rippers, be very, very careful because it will uh, tear your fabric if you're not careful. So, like, if you get it underneath and push, it, it's that sharp. So, and I'm speaking from experience on that because I've done that. <laughs> So yeah, just make sure you're getting the, the thread, not the actual fabric. And sometimes it can be a little tricky. Just like I said, just take your time. Make sure that the thread is, is what you're cutting. Okay, so I got the corner. So now I can actually focus right here and I still may have to again this is this is a I'm trying to not only save a uh, save a little bit of time but uh, utilize something that's you know typically with cosplay from a lot of the communities and stuff that I'm part of and people I've been talking to you know if, if you can if you can use something that's already available, that's one of the big things about uh, cosplay as far as saving time is being able to use something that some somebody's already made. Hence this. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for that, uh, that little bit of a edge. And one day, I probably will make uh, my own flak vest. And that's what this is. It's basically like a flak vest. Uh, it's going to have armor on it, which I've already got the chest plate, the ab plates, and things like that. Well, I've got them printed. They're primered, uh, but they're not painted yet. Because honestly, I just, uh, I want to get this part. The soft goods is the thing that has been the most challenging for me. Um, and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a larger male. Um, so, and that also goes for even printing the armor. Uh, I was very fortunate the uh, chest armor that I'm using is actually scaled uh, in theory, based on what I was reading, to the actor that actually played uh, the heavy Mando. So when I printed everything out, it actually 
fit pretty good. So, or it, it lined up pretty good. So, yeah, I'm really excited for that. Okay. And, you know, that's the one thing. I know a lot of people are like, you know, hey, Greg, this has nothing to do with toys or nothing like that. But, you know, I, I want to document this process as much as I can. Um, just for, you know, there are some people that have reached out to me and asked me questions and uh, have encouraged me to uh, do videos like this uh, because they've had an interest in seeing it being done. So... That's another reason why I'm doing it. And hopefully you, you enjoy it. All right, so we're right here at this back stitch. Take that. All right, boom. All right, so we got the, the flap off. All right, so now what I've got to do is I'm going to rip this down to here. And then I'm probably going to cut this. Um, because I'm, I'm going to try to leave this in place for now. Uh, originally, I was thinking that, you know, I could take this, uh, take it off, and then re-sew it. I thought, that's, that's where I was making mistakes before. I was like, Greg, it's already sewed in place. And before I actually thought it through, I'd already took this whole section off. So, um this is actually something that me and my wife was talking about and you know it was a comment she made was you know why can't why can't you use that because to her it was like it don't make no sense why you, you can't use that and i was explaining about you know the, the cannons and and crls and joining clubs and uh, and she was just like well maybe worry about that when you're ready to do that. And I was like, well, you know, that's, that's a, that's a pretty good point. So I got me a, I got me a smart wife. She, she really helps me to focus and, and think things through a lot more than, uh, than I do most of the time. So the reason why this is taking a little bit longer is I'm really taking my time with this because I definitely don't want to mess anything up here or try not to anyway. So again, just take your time, pull these little seams out. There we go. I think I got it that time. Let's see if I got it. Come back over here where I can see the point. Yeah, I got it that time. Okay, so very, very slowly. Let's take this down. And I'm hoping right here where this Velcro set on, there's actually back stitches right here. Because that will make it a lot better. Okay, I'm actually just gonna do this the slow and methodical way till I get down to where I need to be. I'd rather take my time with it then rush it okay we're getting close I should be able to tell relatively quick I think that I think that may work I still may have to do a stitch there I don't know for sure yet but uh, it's a start it is a start Flip this around so I can pick at it Right, get that bad boy. The because uh, it'd be a whole lot easier to put a stitch in here than to do a whole bunch of extra sewing. 
So again, that's sort of sort of what I was thinking. Okay. There is a lot of stitching right here in these corners, which is good. That's that's what you want. You you want good tough stitches. Like I said, once I get it actually started, you all know it'll it'll go real quick. Let's go ahead and get a couple of these. That way I can get a little bit of a a hole going. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to uh, invest in the in me uh it me a sewing machine. I tell you what's funny, my uh, my granddaughter Jasmine, I love her to death. She uh, she was telling me she's like, Poppy, I've got my sewing machine and, and I don't use use it as much. You can we can bring it over and you can use it. I was just like, wow, that's uh, totally awesome of her. I've got one little stitch right here that I've lost track of the thread and it's been a it's been a little bit of a, a pain. I think they actually done a triple stitch right here. It's definitely uh, fighting me a little bit trying to find out where it's at. feels like it's right there but for the life of me it just does not want to cut there it went got it that time all right let's start this process I'm gonna flip this around do it the way I did it the other time Okay, nice and slow. All right. Getting there, we're getting there. Almost. Okay. Okay, boom. We got that bad boy cut open so next things uh, I'm gonna have to I'm actually going to cut this loose whoo this is the this is the funky part here and I still may have to uh, still probably going to do a straight line stitch across through here just to get this pocket where it's not a pocket anymore Boom. Yes, that is, that is what I want. So, uh, like I did on the back, I'm going to clean up all these threads. I'll come back and then I'm going to talk about what I'm thinking about for the, uh, the flap. So yeah, I'll be right back. All right. So here's the next part of this process that I have to think about. So this right here is perfect. I like this. But the way this is designed, it's designed for this to come across and for this to do like that. Well, I don't like that. So I need this piece of Velcro gone. The problem with that is I'm afraid that if I'm trying to remember, but I think these are sewn together. So I may lose this, but that's okay. I can sew it back on. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to see how the Velcro is, uh, is on here. Hopefully which I can already tell you right now, it's not, it's, it's, it's doubled. 
but that's okay. That is okay. I can, uh, that's easy straight line stitches, so I'm not too worried about that. So I might as well do it this way. Might as well, because that's the way we're going to have to do it. Let me get this separated a little bit. There we go. Boom. But the beauty of this is I may actually not, I won't have to put all this Velcro is what I'm getting at. Um, Cause the reason why I, one of the things that made me get another one of these when I was trying to recreate these uh, straps, I was actually gonna put Velcro on the very end and I was like, wait a minute, why not just, why didn't I just leave all this together and just do this? So, hence, I got another one of these. Okay. Another good factor uh, with this is the fact that you get lots of Velcro left over that you can use uh, throughout the build. So a lot of this Velcro, I might actually be able to use on my armor uh, to help secure it. So like right here, there's a, a big piece of Velcro has got to go here. So I could probably use this piece, put it right here, and then the armor part of it uh, would give it a lot more stability. Uh, when I when I put it on, so it's a win-win. Yeah, it's it's two-sided, so that's okay. That's okay. Da -da. And I may actually, um, I may actually take it one step further, but I'm not doing as much now uh, as I did the first time because I really want to pay closer attention because um, originally like I've kept this whole middle section right here of, of the vest I may take this off eventually and then just sew a center section of velcro but since I learned what I learned on the last one I'm going to really, really concentrate on what I actually truly need to take off and what I can keep. And so far, I'm definitely liking what I'm doing now. I mean, I like what I did with the other one. It's just there's... Uh, a lot of unnecessary work that, that I have to do to get it back to where it looks good. So you can see what I'm doing here, just pulling this, it stretches the stitch. You can just come in and hop it loose, like so. Hop it loose. And you can actually do a pretty good little run uh, with this. Because once you let go of one stitch, it'll actually pull through to a couple of stitches. Or seams, excuse me. I keep saying stitches, these are seams. Uh, getting close, we're getting close. Another thing I like about uh, these these wider flaps right here, it's actually uh, gives it a really nice finished uh, overall look. You know, you got like a belt, which is, uh, or a cummerbund, maybe that's the way I need to say it. It's a cummerbund. <laughs> okay. Almost, 
almost there. So what I'm going to have to do is, since this is actually, and I did discover this when I was uh, actually cutting this off. Uh, this is actually sewn in right here. So I'm going to have to do some, uh, do some cutting. I'll trim it up and make it look better later on in post-production. All right, and then there's uh, this piece, which I need to cut this off as well. Okay. Boom. All right, so now if we look at it, so we've got this piece here, and this piece of Velcro, let's say, attaches right here. So if I take a, if I take this much of this Velcro right here, and cut it, and then attach it underneath here, then I can actually do this. And voila, you got a nice, clean, joint right there so yeah i think uh so i think right now the only thing i need to actually do is run a, a seam across here you know to close up the pocket and then put a a section of velcro like this um on this side so at least it fits like that and uh yeah I think we're uh, pretty close to go. So let me clean this thing up, and then I will actually put this on the best I can, considering this is done, and I'll show you what the armor stuff looks like. So, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, I've got it on partially. <laughs> so, as you can see, this right here, and then this strap with some Velcro here would actually come and secure like that. So that will work out really, really nice. Very, very nice. Um, the shoulder pauldrons would Velcro up here like so. So you've got the, the Velcro straps here, so it'll cover that up. Um, the chest piece. So here's the chest piece. Um, it's primed up and look at there. That's, that's literally like perfect. I love this. Then you got an upper ab piece that actually attaches to the chest piece. And then there's a lower ab piece. So, yeah, this is uh, this is coming together really, really nice. Really, really nice. Matter of fact, that's the, that's the way the chest and the ab piece goes. Like that. Look at that. I think uh, I think we're coming along. I think we're coming along very, very nicely. Uh, then there's a lower ab piece. All of this stuff will be put together with uh, buckles and belts. Um, also, fiberglass on the inside. I've done uh, PLL welding plus fiberglass over the top of it. So, yeah. There we go, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> This little tutorial video. Uh, I'm super pleased on how this turned out this time. Um, I may still, I don't know if I'm going to keep all of this. I don't know yet. I'm, I'm having a, I'm having a dilemma. I'm thinking that I could actually lose a big chunk of this. Cause see how it sticks up. I, I really don't want any to stick up. So I may actually trim this down. I don't know yet. So, but uh, yeah, little $25 vest. I got some awesome armor right there that fits great. Comes around perfect. Boom, boom. And uh, 
it's coming along. So again, this is that's the end of the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, again, this is something that I'm really, really trying to focus hard on this year. Um, because I, I just I need to focus on it because I keep putting it off, putting it off, and I really would like to uh, get this done to where I can actually try my hand at doing some kind of cosplay. So, um, yeah, there we go. But I'll definitely, as the armor gets uh, finished and I finish this, I'll do another video with an armor update to show you all of this in place. Um, I still have to figure out if I'm going to do a back piece or not. Um, yeah, that's a big one right there, back piece. I do have like a, a veil type thing that I'm going to use with it, but uh, I'll have to wait and see on that. But guys, you let me know in the comments what you thought about the video. If you liked it, do me a favor, click that uh, thumbs up button, give me a like on it. Uh, if you like what I do, if you like my content, consider hitting that subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed yet, but you watch my videos, hey, Go ahead and subscribe as well, if you like. Make sure to turn notifications on. That way you'll know when I drop videos, when I do live streams, and everything else related to my channel. And finally, please, always remember, playing with toys or doing cosplay refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time.